Yamalka Tezshu, a young and eager student of Zen, embarked on a journey to seek enlightenment. He visited one Zen master after another, hoping to showcase his wisdom and understanding. One day, his quest led him to the presence of Master Dokuan of Shikoku, renowned for his profound insights and unconventional teachings. With great confidence, Tezshu proclaimed, The mind, Buddha, and all sentient beings do not exist. The true nature of phenomena is emptiness. There is no realization, no delusion, no master, no Buddha. There is no giving and nothing to be received. As Tezshu awaited a response that would validate his deep insights, Master Dokyuan sat quietly, smoking his pipe. He remained unperturbed by Tezshu's proclamation and uttered not a single word. Unexpectedly, Dokyuan swiftly struck Yamalka with his bamboo stick. Enraged and confused, Yamalka confronted the master, demanding an explanation for the unwarranted strike. He asked indignantly, Why did you hit me with that damn stick? In his calm and composed manner, Dokyuan posed a question in response. If nothing exists, as you claim, what is this damn stick you speak of? The story of Yamalka Tezshu and Master Dokyuan teaches us several valuable moral lessons. Firstly, it reminds us of the limitations of intellectual understanding. While Tezshu attempted to explain the nature of existence through concepts and ideas, Dokyuan's strike symbolizes the need to move beyond intellectual knowledge and seek direct experience and realization. Another important lesson is the embracing of paradoxes. Dokyuan's question about the stick challenges Tezshu's assertion of emptiness, highlighting the paradoxical nature of life. The story encourages us to embrace the contradictions and uncertainties that arise, recognizing that they are an integral part of the human experience. Furthermore, the story emphasizes the significance of personal realization. It urges us to go beyond theoretical knowledge and engage in practices that deepen our understanding of ourselves and reality. By cultivating self-reflection, introspection, and mindfulness, we can access insights and wisdom that arise from direct experience. The story also reminds us of the limitations of language and concepts in expressing the true nature of reality. It encourages us to transcend these limitations and connect with the ineffable aspects of existence. By allowing ourselves to embrace the mystery and wonder of life without rigid frameworks of understanding, we can cultivate a deeper sense of connection and appreciation for the present moment. To apply these lessons in our lives, we can start by embracing direct experience. Engaging in mindfulness, meditation, and other contemplative practices allows us to connect with the present moment and experience reality beyond conceptual frameworks. Additionally, we can practice embracing paradoxes and uncertainties, recognizing their role in our personal growth and understanding. Cultivating presence and awareness in our everyday lives is another important aspect. By being fully present, we can observe the subtleties of existence and develop a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of all things. Practicing gratitude for the present experience and cultivating humility are also essential. Acknowledging our limited understanding and approaching life with openness and curiosity allow us to continually learn and grow. Mindful communication plays a vital role as well. By speaking with clarity, compassion, and awareness, and listening deeply to others, we can foster deeper connections and promote understanding. Lastly, it's crucial to embrace the journey of self-discovery and wisdom with patience and perseverance. Recognizing that the path to understanding is not linear but a continuous process of growth and exploration helps us navigate the complexities of life with gentleness and trust in our evolution. Incorporating these lessons into our daily lives allows them to guide our interactions, perceptions, and understanding of the world. By embracing direct experience, embracing paradoxes, seeking personal realization, transcending language and concepts, embodying humility, practicing mindful communication, and embracing the journey, we can deepen our wisdom, find greater peace, and cultivate a fulfilling life journey. This is Keepers of Inspiration, inspiring you one story at a time.
Join me on this journey of self-discovery and growth by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications. Let's explore the depths of our minds and embrace the beauty of life together.